Yeah. They're just like standing at the back of the vehicles. So they were saying that they came here and that they were just like checking things out and they wanted to know what what are we doing here? Right. And that was basically just like we're sleeping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I said that we have a friend that lives here that we're visiting. Right. And she lives in those houses right there. And right. she said we could sleep here. Right. And they're like, okay. <laughs> but what like, happened? They knocked on your door. Yeah. The pastor, do you speak English? Do you speak? Spanish? Spanish. She said no. Se lo siento. I was flopping on it, but I'm like, I'm trying to get out. <laughs> so then he has her ID and I just gave him these. Well, that was an interesting way to wake up. Honestly, I really think that in the last three or four days of being in Mexico, I've encountered more police than in our entire van life together total. And it's all been good, like pretty much all of them have just like wanted to make sure we're okay and like see what we're doing and see yeah. what's going on. But there's like a very vast difference between what happens when Kaylee comes out and tries to talk to them and when Allie tries to talk to them because Kaylee comes out and they say, habla espanol, she says, lo siento, no. And they're like, give us all your information. Obviously, it's just like a very, very scary tone that's yeah. put onto that. And me and Allie walk out and it's like, buenos dias. Como you estas? Know, estas? And they're like, you speak espanol? And I was like, uh, poco. And then uh, I said, Mas, uh, Ali. And so <laughs> Ali walks out and he just starts speaking to her in Spanish. And within 30 seconds, they're like, okay, well, we just wanted to see what you guys were doing here. Here's their information back. You guys have a good day. And she's like, it's okay for us to sleep here. Our friend that lives right here told us we could sleep here. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Bueno, have a good day. It's interesting that cops get such a bad rap around here and I really think it has to do with the tone you take when you begin your encounter with them and whether you speak any Spanish. I think it really helps if you speak a tiny bit of Spanish. If you're just nice to them, like a kind person, and you try your hardest to speak Spanish, you have to actually speak a little Spanish. You can't just try and not speak any Spanish. <laughs> but if you like try your hardest to speak Spanish, I think they just respect that and they're gonna be nice to you. And that's like kind of what we've learned thus far. I guess we're awake. Good morning and welcome back to the series. All right, and don't stop uh, believing, baby! <laughs> now we actually have something that we need to go do that we're kind of worried about. So whenever we travel, I just have this bad luck. Stuff happens to me. In Italy, we ended up in the hospital. That was a crazy experience in the Dominican Republic. I also ended up in the hospital accompanying someone. It always seems to happen weirdly. We always get travel insurance just in case things go wrong. Unfortunately today, we're fine, but yeah. Jordan is not so lucky. Jordan has some lower back pain that he deals with uh, from an injury from high school. And occasionally these muscles tighten up on him and he becomes almost immobilized. He can barely stand up, he really can't walk. And when you look at him, his entire spine and hips are completely out of line. I've never seen something so drastic. I think we're actually gonna head to the hospital this morning and see if they can find a place to get him checked out or see if they know of a chiropractor in town. Fingers crossed it's an easy fix. I know he's in a lot of pain right now, so we're gonna try to get him seen quickly. How are you feeling, bro? I can't move. Can't move? No. Something to, something to take your mind off of it. Well, you guys know this song? Yes. Yeah. What is what, it? What is that? Yeah. Why are you like guys trying to figure to it out? Because he was whistling it and I was like, how do you know that? That's a French song. I thought it was like like a kid's song. I feel like it's a kid's song. song. Yeah. yeah. If anybody watching this video knows what that song is, please let us know because it's going to drive us crazy until we figure it out. <laughs> All right, should we go get you popped? Let's go get it. All right, let's go, guys. I'm really interested to see if this place that we pull up to, if Jordan's going to be like pleased with it or if he's going to take one look at it and be like, I don't know if I want to go in there. Good health center. Yeah, they just padlocked on the door. Alright, well, as you can see, just our luck, there's chains across all the parking stalls and padlocks on all the doors. We basically have a medical emergency because Jordan is in a lot of pain, he can barely move, and the only person that can help us right now 
seems to be closed. I'm guessing it's only open for appointments only, but we can't even make an appointment over the phone since no one is picking up the phone, so. That's just our luck, it's just inconsistent. It says they're open, it says they're great, we try to go there, they're closed. We'll get it figured out. Centro Holistico y Quiera Practico. All right, let's do it then. Here goes nothing. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna say, necesita un quiropractica para sus caderas y espalda. Tiene más, tiene mucho dolor. Está sufriendo. Está alguien disponible ahora? Por favor. Let's go. I don't know what she said either. General oh, medicine. Oh, okay. All right. Encontramos un quiropráctico. Okay, perfecto. Adelante. Okay. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Gracias. There's no chiropractor here, but there's a good chiropractor up the street. If we just keep going straight, she doesn't know how far and she doesn't know the name. Not super helpful, but we're in the right direction. How adorable. This one's 10 minutes away. We're trying, Jordan. Pedaguchi? Pedagucci. Oh, oh my god. That's oh, yeah. They oh, both yeah. got their white fuzzy Patagonias on. Walking through San Miguel Allende like, can you find us a chiropractor? My boyfriend needs to have his back popped. <laughs> yes, we're from America. <laughs> we're literally wearing the same thing. Here, I'm gonna call. This one is nine minutes away. San Antonio. If anybody can see this delicate posture this man's got. <laughs> he's like he's like one of those cream puffs. He's very tender in the middle right now. Please be open. There's definitely a camera right here. What are you gonna do if this guy's not home? Cry. <sighs> you can hear the Hello. 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 As you can see, I'm a, little, I'm a little crooked. Let me just ask the doctor if he's able to stay oh, and take care of me. Turistas in mucho pain. <laughs> How do you say pain? Dolor. Mucho dolor. You just feel better already? No. I have a feeling it's going to be just like all the other chiropractors, but in Spanish. It's English. 800 pesos for the consultation, exam, and adjustment. Yep. yep. Including like scans and x-rays. Which is usually like a couple hundred bucks in America. Forty dollars. Forty bucks. It's Forty dollars. Okay, let's go. Cool. All right. Let's go meet up with Sonia and see what she has to say. The queen has arrived. The queen of San Miguel. The queen of San Miguel. De Allende. Still my plate number. Everything is good on my end, Jordan's end. We really think it's gonna be done in the morning. We'll be on the beach in no time, baby. I'm ready for the beach. I bet you're ready for the chiropractor. I'm ready for the chiropractor first. first. Let's go put these plates on. The bike doesn't have the screws for the license plate, neither does the license plate, of course. Another problem we're gonna have to solve. Mexico is really different in some ways from America, but in other ways, it's totally the same. Like right now, we are at AutoZone. Smells like AutoZone. <laughs> if you know what AutoZone smells like, it has a smell. It smells like it in here. Found it. Even comes with a little Allen wrench to tighten them with. This is a big moment. This is the day. Wow. And there we are, baby. Muy bonita. Look at this, legally registered, fully licensed. Let's go ride these motorcycles. You ready? I'm ready. The question is, is he ready? I think he's super ready. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's go to the doctor. Let's see how this goes. I'm hoping it's just like a... 
It's like a, and then I'm just like walking straight again. I'm like, oh, it's so Oh, that would be awesome. This is max speed right now. Hello, Hi, Jordan. Good luck. Hey, Hi, Jordan. Good luck. Hey, Jordan. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Amigos. He was really, really good. He was really good, yeah. This is uh, an electro like reading he took of my back. Uh -huh. And this is a normal one, and that one's mine. So the left side is so completely. He cracked the hell out of me. Yeah. He like, freaking trains with Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff. He was a bodybuilder. How do you feel? Sore. Really? Yeah, so we'll see in a couple after after tomorrow. Okay. So Jordan needs a few hours to recover and just rest his body. So instead of doing something wild and crazy today, we're actually taking this opportunity to go to our favorite bakery, Panio, get some work done, use their Wi-Fi, and maybe get a coffee and a pastry while we're there. We'll see. Ali is the Swiss army knife of languages. No matter where we are or what people are speaking, she can just figure it out and adapt to them. It's amazing. Very grateful. Can we do that? <laughs> mm. We took a little bit of Panio with us in case that was the last time we went to Panio. <laughs> I absolutely love their pastries. The coffee's not really good at all, but <laughs> no. <laughs> I really like the pastries, so. We picked up some extra special groceries so that we could make an ultra authentic Italian dinner. We're making pizza. It's easy because we have an oven in our van, so we're excited to put this oven to use, chop up some veg, bring a little bit of home to this Mexican adventure. I have my dinner right here. I'm not really sure what everyone else is doing tonight for dinner. <laughs> this All looks right. pretty good though, huh? Jordan is still not 100%, but honestly, we are so grateful that we were able to find a chiropractor and get him some medical attention today. It really shows the stark contrast between what we take for granted in the United States versus what is available here. We're lucky that it was as minor as it was today. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Easy You're for you to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we accept as normal or normalcy in the U.S. isn't always normal everywhere else. And while they do have health care and they do have quality systems, it's just not always what you expect and not always as easily accessible. So being able to find him some help today that gave him some relief was definitely relieving for the entire group. Yeah. We're really grateful for that. We're ready to see what is beyond the next horizon. We're rolling with those punches. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, you guys are the ones that put the wind beneath our wings. Mm, that's so true. That's so sweet. Smash the like button. Subscribe to uh, Trent and Alley. Subscribe to the Nomadic Movement. And we will see you guys on the next one. Good night. Stepping outside of my comfort zone. These things give me strength, that's all I know uh, uh, See, there's a gap, a great divide Can't see these facts through vacant eyes Wearing fake disguises on, acting like they all want the same We'll see, stepping outside